So in this video, I'm going to share with you my secret for prepping, repairing, and restoring damaged drywall. Stay tuned. So most people, they have a damaged piece of wallboard, whether it's a renovation like we were doing here behind us, where we have a bit of a seam issue, or they've got a doorknob dent in the wall, or they're just gonna repaint a room and they've got little pinholes from where they had pictures and screws and plugs. And so I'm gonna share with you my secret today for how to fill all those things. And the reason this is such a huge secret is because it fills it super fast. You don't have to sand it and you don't have to prime it and you don't even need to use two coats of paint to finish it, all right? This is my secret in the trades for whenever I've got to do a touch-up and I'm ready to head out of a project and I see something I don't like, I can take five minutes and fix that before I walk out the door and it doesn't need any work after I'm done. And here's the trick. You gotta own a hawk and a four inch knife. All right, so go to your store and make sure you buy them. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab some sheetrock 45, all right? Now this is a, quick drying drywall compound. It comes in powder form and you've got to mix this yourself. All right. And you take your hawk and you set it over your sink and you just want to make a little bit of a volcano here. Okay. And this is easier to do with a lot of it, harder to do with a little, but you really want to set up a little bit of a volcano. Okay. There we go. Now, before I get started, the secret here is hot running water. Make sure you get the water running first. And once it's hot, bring it into your volcano. Now, this is going to take a little bit of practice to get used to how much water to put in there. Now, you want to hold it. And you've got a couple options. You can leave it on there for about a half an hour or so, but it'll harden faster than you can mix it where you just take your knife and off the edge, lift up some of the loose powder and shake it in there like you're icing a cake, okay? Work your way around the volcano. Ice your cake. And if a little bit starts to come out, don't worry about it. There's not enough water there to cause a problem. Now once you've gone all the way around the edges, you should start to become more of a paste, okay? And then you can just break it up and you mix it in right here on the hop. Okay, no mixing tools, no pails, no muss, no fuss, right here on your hawk. Use your four inch knife. And just work this in. Now it's more of a paste. Now you just want to flatten it out now, make sure all your bumps are out of there. Okay, the smoother this is when you put it on the wall, the easier it will be to finish. You just check right there like that. Yeah, I'm loving it. So now I've got a drywall compound that's got a hardening agent in here that's chemically activated. And anybody who knows any science knows when you add heat to any kind of chemical reaction, it speeds up the reaction. And that is why we are using hot water on this. So generally, a 45 minute mud with regular cold water takes 45 minutes to an hour to set up. But if you add hot water, you can be sanding this in 20 minutes. If you add a really hot water, or if you live out in the country and you got lots of minerals, be careful, because this can set up in five to 10 minutes. Okay, and so then what we're gonna do is we'll just show you, we'll apply some of this mud here. And so this is my finished coat, all right? Nice and tight. And I'm really pressing this on here. And the goal is to fill every little scratch, every bump, Okay, so that this wall is nice and smooth. This particular wall had to be resurfaced with a new corner because we changed the tub. And I just started working on this this morning. This is now the third coat of mud I'm putting on here. Okay, there we go. Now that is going to be beautiful. You know, we try on this channel to show people all the tips and tricks for doing the work themselves. I remember even the most complicated project still needs to have simplified finishing. All right, so here we go. Just gonna double check, make sure everything here is good. 
got any bumps, any bubbles. This one was done earlier. I've had a lot of people comment on the, on the channel. Um, you know, can you do wet sanding? Is there any way to keep dust down? What I'm just doing a small space and I don't want to make a mess. This is the system for you. So you just take your sponge, you get these at the building store in the tile department. This is for actually doing grout. And I'll just demonstrate here real quick. This is mud that's just been pressed on. It's got the wrinkles, it needs to be feathered out, okay? And you just give it a wipe. There you go. Let it dry. You're ready to paint. I know it's that simple. <laughs> Once again, you know, just go around your fixtures, take the excess off. If you see any ridges, just wipe them out. There you go. Ready to paint. And the best thing about this 45 minute mud is even after you get it wet, because it has a hardener, it'll dry in just a couple minutes. So if you want to get a job done in the same day, you can take a whole room, do all your patching, and then you don't have any priming to do. Or if you've already finished your project and you bump a wall with your ladder on the way out, you can do your 45 minute mud, put it on there real quick, give it a few minutes, even take a hair dryer to help dry it off, damp sponge, okay, come back with some paint, get a little mini roller and you can touch up your paint job and walk out the door within the hour. And that is money in the bank. All right, so that's everything you need to know. That's my tip of the day. Uh, how to use 45 minute mud to do all your patching. And that means you don't have to do any priming and you don't have to do any regular sanding. Just use a quick wet sponge. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. Comments in the section below. And I gotta get back to work because I gotta make a living too.